perhaps wash your hands a few times. I guess we haven't washed our hands a single time. Ew, yesterday he peed in a bush and then immediately handled food with no gloves. Or I guess he always wears gloves, but they're dirty gloves. We only have one pair of gloves and I don't, I don't wash them. I swear this new stuff pack was made for Stanley Humphrey. The Home Chef Hustle Pack just released today. And in some of the promo, they describe one of the main features as being a food entrepreneur. A food entrepreneur, that's Stanley. He's literally food and his whole thing is making money. When I read that in the description, I was like laughing out loud. So yeah, obviously we're gonna try a new get rich quick scheme using the Home Chef Hustle Pack. I did post an entire review of this pack yesterday if you want to watch that and see my full thoughts, so I'll link that down below. So today we have my weenie sim, Stanley Humphrey. He's a foodie, he loves the outdoors because he's not gonna have an indoors just yet. And he's got one of the new aspirations. This is the appliance whiz one. I've been trying to think about how to game this best to make the most money. And what I'm thinking is we can use this appliance whiz aspiration to start building the skill. And then we can switch to the market magnet aspiration and try and make money after our skills higher. Oh. Oh, my game just crashed. Well, I guess we'll try that again. So in these Rags to Riches challenges, the goal is to make as much money as possible from just one activity, but starting from zero simoleons. So Stanley's got a big empty lot. I did give him a couple things to get us started. I found this pizza sleeping bag, which I felt was kind of fitting. We also have a grill this time. And I gave us the food stand with a pizza oven and a stand mixer already set up. I would like to pick a more appropriate color. And honestly, this pizza pizza vibe kind of matches perfectly. Oh my god, I can change the name of this. Okay, Weenie Hut Jr. And I can pick a logo. Uh, maybe the octopus. That feels kind of right. We are gonna need a couple extra things. For example, it might benefit me to have a ceiling. And then I can make it into a tiny home and get some double skill gain. Collect prepped ingredients five times while inspired. How do you expect me to get inspired? Okay, um, we need to think about this. So I was gonna have him grill hot dogs as like our main thing in the beginning, but I can't afford any hot dogs and I'm also not inspired. So maybe I'll go to the gym, take a thoughtful shower, catch a fish, and then use the fish money to start cooking. We just got extremely lucky and found two frogs that are both worth a hundred simoleons. So I'm actually gonna keep those and breed them a few times. And now I feel inspired so we can get home and get started. <gasps> oh my God. Prepped ingredients are expensive. That was 45 simoleons. Oh no. <laughs> I know that that's supposed to help us and we'll be able to use those to cook food, but oh my God, that's a lot. The other aspiration wants us to run a food sale and sell five excellent pizzas or waffles. I could probably make an excellent pizza. I feel inspired. I might have no cooking skill, but it can't be that bad, right? Collect meal. Oh, it's excellent. Oh, okay. Well, start a food sale. <laughs> May as well just get started. I guess I can try and cook a couple of these, huh? Why did I prep batter if I had to make pizza? What was I thinking? I knew I had to make pizza. <laughs> So why was I prepping batter instead of dough? Maybe I just didn't have enough. Oh, I needed level two. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Well, next time, next time. I can try and give a sales pitch to some of these people. Are you interested in any of my pizza? Oh, yes, one of them bought a slice. That's three simoleons. Here, I've got more. Anybody, anybody? Oh, I should have set the mark up. Oh no, I marked it up at zero percent. Mark it up 50%. We can think about trying to increase the markup later, but for now we don't have any money, so. One thing I don't really understand is how we can like forcibly stock this. Like my pizza's in there, so I don't know why it's not visible. <laughs> okay. Katrina, hi, are you interested in any of my pizza? Maybe? Four smolly. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't really know what the best practices are for trying to convince them to buy things either. Like obviously we could do our little sales pitches, but should I introduce myself? Does it matter if I introduce myself? Oh, eventually I want to decorate. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, it's up there. Oh, milestone complete. Run food sales from two different lots? Convince customers to buy something five times during a food sale. Okay. We've made like maybe 20 simoleons. <laughs> this is not going like the best, but that's okay. Everything's also quite low quality. That's also a slight problem. Once I get my cooking skill up, this is gonna be a lot easier. We're just not really quite there yet. <laughs> do you want to try and make some hot dogs? I probably shouldn't do it while I have the sale running, huh? Can I breed these frogs? Listen, desperate times call for desperate measures. I need a pea bush. I guess I could leave the lot. Like, we don't need to do this the sales here. That's kind of the whole thing. Like, we can- Oh, <gasps> Judy? Oh my god. <laughs> There's a celebrity and she bought my pizza. What are you doing? That's not 
a hot dog? Oh my god. Stanley Humphrey, I swear. What do you think you're doing? We are supposed to only eat hot dogs. What, what? You've never made a single hot dog. Okay, hot dogs, 13 smillions. There we go. Did they leave some dirty plates on my lot? That's actually messed up. What is wrong with you? Can I not take them? Oh my god, I'm gonna need to buy a trash can. All right, Stanley, you can eat this hot dog. No, what the? Oh, Jeffrey Landgrab, you owe me like $5. <laughs> what do you think you're doing taking my hot dog? I'm gonna start another food sale. Oh, I'm gonna pee my pants. Okay. Thankfully, this pea bush is only 55 smolians. There we go. Maybe I should tend the table though, because there's no one there right now. Oh, I shouldn't have put that so close to my food. Ew. It's like an aura of stink next to the food I'm trying to sell. These people are some regular customers. They were here before. Oh, look. So at our last food sale, we made 44 smolians. <laughs> That's not even enough to buy my pea bush. The hot dogs worth a little bit more money at least. They bought all the hot dogs already. And I'm kind of too nervous to increase my prices too much yet because I feel like I'm still learning. <gasps> when I press convince to buy, I think I got 38 simoleons. Oh, do they buy the whole thing? Oh, I should probably get cooking. Oh my God, Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. Please <laughs> make a pineapple pizza quick. We're running out of options. Stanley, what are you doing? Sleeping on the job? Collect the meal, get it together. What do you think you're doing? You can sleep later. We have so much to do. Thankfully, I can breed another frog. I'm gonna keep selling as long as I physically can. I'm serious. Until it like makes me stop, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> it made me stop. We made 162 simoleons that time. We sold six hot dogs for 48, five pizzas. That was so good. Okay, Stanley, you can sleep now. Are you gonna leave? Is there a reason you're still here right now? Maybe I'll let him get a trash can as well. It does feel like kind of a waste of my money, but I guess I am kind of scaring customers away with all of my mess. Do I have to pick these up individually? Some of them I can't pick up. Miraculously, these things last like three days when they're on the food stand. I don't think that should be right, but I'm not gonna complain because I'll take it. Would you like to grill some more hot dogs? I think in my dream scenario, he will only sell hot dogs, but I realize that that's probably not the best way for me to explore the new pack. You wanna stay at my place for a few days? Where? Where? <laughs> I have one pizza bed. There's not enough space for you. I think I might have Stanley make just a couple more things here quickly. I could probably prep some dough as well. And then I figure we could go start a food stand somewhere else. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Not welcome to Strangerville, please. <laughs> Please stay away from me. I don't know what I was thinking moving here. I, just, I, I mean, I knew what was gonna happen. I just, I kind of thought it would be fun. I didn't really think this through. <laughs> Liked meal. All right, we've got some pretty good options. Oh, let me drag these into my inventory. Are you serious? Do I have to clear the table to put it in my inventory? Oh my God, uh, that's so silly. <laughs> okay, put in inventory. Let's go. I can't travel because of social event. Oh my God. <laughs> now let's go. Maybe I'll go to the park? That seems like a decent spot to set up. Oh, if we put it right here, there's some tables nearby so we can pretend they're gonna eat the food there. I'll fill that up with all my stuff, start a food sale. Here we go. We have some decent options. Maybe I'll mark up the prices even higher. The higher the markup, the less likely they are to buy things. So we have to find the middle ground. There's also no one coming to my food stand yet. Infants can be a real handful, especially for new parents. So I think when they tried to fix the phone calls and invitations, they fix them wrong because I keep getting infant calls even though I don't have a baby in like multiple of my saves. <gasps> Eliza! Oh my God, I'm so glad to see you. <gasps> 14 simoleons, did you see that? I'm rich. Oh, go on the date, yeah, okay. Oh, all my favorites are here. It's kind of cute actually how so many of the Willow Creek folks are all showing up to my food stand in Willow Creek. Like how all the Strangerville ones came to my food stand in Strangerville. It's like kind of realistic. Oh my God, it's literally like all all of the Willow Creek people. The whole town is here. Stanley, you're kind of running out of food. Maybe we should make some more. Look at me go making my pizza. I'm so proud of you, Stanley. You're doing so well. Milestone complete. Okay, we need to earn 500 during a single food sale. Okay. <laughs> and also sell a poor quality item for 100 simoleons. Resurrect a ghost by selling ambrosia? What the heck? Oh, we have a lot of work to do to get up to that point. Eliza's back again. She was here earlier. She came back for another slice. Hello, excuse me? Excuse me? <gasps> thief! Thief! She just walked up and took my pizza and walked away. You're actually joking. <laughs> Oh my God, that honestly must be like some sort. Okay, she she put it down on a table. Maybe she thought she was helping me. She wasn't helping me. 
<laughs> she stole my pizza. We made 210 simoleons that day, so it's not too bad actually. And now I feel more confident increasing my prices. I was kind of nervous about that in the beginning, but I feel like I can probably handle it now. Stanley, while you're here, do you want to just come use the bathroom? Because we don't have a toilet at home. <laughs> just before we go, maybe we could try that. Perhaps wash your hands a few times. I guess we haven't washed our hands a single time. Ew, yesterday he peed in a bush and then immediately handled food with no gloves. Or I guess he always wears gloves, but they're dirty gloves. We only have one pair of gloves and I don't, I don't wash them. This would be a lot easier if I had a second sim. Like if I had just one more person here helping me out with this, I would be thriving. I need someone to tend it while the other person cooks. I'm just gonna repeatedly grill hot dogs until he gets his skill higher, I think. Level five of the cooking skill, see? With the double skill gain, he has to grill something like one time and then it goes up an entire skill point. Oh, let's make some tofu dogs. It's kind of late. It's like 9.30. I sort of missed the, the dinner rush here, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll start a food sale anyway. Oh, I was gonna mark these up. Oh my God, markup prices. Let's go 200%. Let's just see what happens. Oh, well that worked. I got 45 already. Oh, Ted just passed, I think. Oh, never mind. He bought it. He bought it. I thought he looked mad. He looked happy actually. Oh, this is too easy. Why didn't I increase it this much before? Well, in my defense, I didn't know they were gonna be this easy. There's a lot of talk here and not a lot of buying people. Let's get it together, okay? I don't know why you're all just standing around. Start paying up. Oh, it worked. I made 500 simoleons. I'm not even sure I need to talk to them. <laughs> I think me just standing here is enough, but the sales pitches are helping. Yeah, we made 612 simoleons that time. Meredith, what do you think you're doing? Get away from my grill, please. Thank you. I can't triple speed because they're all standing here. I just want to sleep in peace. <sighs> are you going to really wait all night until I open again in the morning? Really? Well, since I have some money, I might get a real toilet and a real shower. Okay, I'd like for him to try and grill something now while he's like not doing well. Because if I get it to be poor quality, then we could probably sell it for... Okay, that's normal quality. <laughs> Dang it. I want to try and sell something poor quality for a lot of money so I can try and get that aspiration. Sausage and peppers. Oh, we could sell that. Excellent quality. How? Whatever, whatever. You can use the bathroom. It's fine. Is it wrong for him to eat sausage? Doesn't that feel kind of like inappropriate given the fact that that's your brother? Yikes. Okay, well I did manage to make some poor quality baked potatoes. So what I think I'm gonna do, <laughs> I think I'm gonna try and put everything away except the bad potatoes. Oh, I don't know if I can. How does this work? I'm still a little bit confused about the stocking situation if I'm being honest. Can I buy a fridge? Maybe I can get a bad one just for a sec. And then I can put all the good stuff in the fridge for today and we can exclusively sell baked potatoes. I'll mark up the prices like 300%. I don't think that's gonna work though. Cause I don't think that it's gonna sell for enough. I think it's like not good enough. Well, this is stupid. <laughs> How am I supposed to get a poor quality item that's worth a hundred? Well, for some reason they are buying it, which I don't really understand. I guess if you really want to, I'm not gonna stop you. I'll just put all the good stuff back out too. Here, we've got some better options. Oh, Nancy's here. Resurrect a ghost by selling it ambrosia is a wild thing to ask me to do. I don't even have a kitchen. How am I supposed to work on the gourmet cooking skill if I don't have a kitchen? We made a thousand simoleons that day. Can I just open again immediately? I know that the food sale only lasts a certain amount of time, but can I just like immediately reopen? Ka-ching from successful food sale. We can make some kind of fancy pizzas too. Oh, this is poor quality. That might be the way. Hold on. I don't know how I managed to make such a fancy pizza so low quality, but why isn't it auto stocking? How does it work? I don't get it. This pizza is in there. Hello? Hello? She just pranked my toilet. What is wrong with you? Is it because I have no food? Maybe I'll end it and restart. I kind of messed it up. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, this pizza sells for 184. Let me see if I can give it to someone to buy it. Oh, that was too easy. <laughs> so much money. Sell one meal for 300. That that happened that fast. Well, let me just get all the good stuff back out then. Okay, I think it's kind of glitchy because I don't really understand how the auto stocking works. It seems like sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. All I know is that it doesn't always happen. I found that like closing it and reopening it works though. You can't even click on them to like forcibly stock it. So I don't really get it. Okay, well, my plan just then was to try and sell as much of my stock as possible to just clear out some of those things that I had made. But tomorrow, I think the goal is going to be to 
to only sell the most expensive stuff. So I'll just get rid of all of that. I'll, I'll put it in my fridge for me to eat or something. Oh, he's playing on his phone on the toilet. Okay. <laughs> and it's broken. You know why? Because of that Sim who pranked it. I would love it if you left, Ted. You being here is like really, really, really weirding me out. You're kind of just standing there in the middle of the night and okay, good. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, that was almost too much for me. Well, let's get prepping. We're gonna try and make some dough. I'll prep some veggies and then we'll start making the most expensive pizzas that we're able to. I think if I have prepped meat and prepped veggies, it might go better. You can even prep meat substitute. That's so cool. Okay. We can cook this fancy, fancy pizza. <laughs> That's level eight cooking skill. This is the one that I made a bad version of earlier. I'm surprised I haven't started a single fire yet because I really, really thought I was going to. All right, we can start that food sale then. With this markup, this thing sells for 196 simoleons for one slice. <laughs> Just one slice. Oh, no one's coming. Oh, here we go. Meredith, I know you're rich. You live in a big fancy house. Oh yes, okay, this is gonna be so easy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Disappointing drink? What drink? I'm serious, where'd you get a drink from? We don't even have water. <laughs> we don't even have a sink. I think I need some herb packets so I can make the next thing. Can you just open these seed packets, Stanley? <laughs> Does it let you while you're tending the stall? Come here, try to cook this artful focaccia. Look at that, he just made so much money I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I wasn't even talking to anyone. <gasps> a ghost. A ghost. Wait, I don't have ambrosia. I'm not gonna make ambrosia. I don't even have a kitchen. Like, that's not doable, okay? Do I have one saved to my library? Oh, listen, desperate times call for desperate measures. If you look on the gallery, you can oftentimes find a lot of options. <laughs> you can find other people that have uploaded ambrosia to the gallery. We can just say that I have, I have cooked this. All right, we can just say that he bought it. He did pay for it. I didn't use money cheats or anything. Maybe I can convince him to buy- <gasps> 11,480? No, you're kidding. Come on, buy it, buddy. Felix, Felix, you can do it. <gasps> oh my God, he just paid 40,000 for that. <gasps> no, no, that doesn't seem right. Well, it is right, but <laughs> why is that? I think he bought it twice as well. If he finishes eating this, he's gonna come back to life. Oh, this is like the ultimate hack. Especially if you unlock the ability to cook the ambrosia yourself. Like once you get to it and you can make it. If you can make 40,000 simoleons selling one thing, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. This is one of the best ways actually we've ever done for money earning. We made 84,000 simoleons in that food sale. Aspiration achieved. Wait, is he gonna come back to life? <gasps> look, look, look. Oh, Felix, you're welcome. <laughs> I mean, I did charge you like 80 grand for that, but he's alive. I've never seen him alive. That's kind of weird, actually. Well, we, f we finished the aspiration. <laughs> Stanley has just become a salesperson extraordinaire. Running a business is hard work and they certainly have proved it. Trait earned, booth boss. Increase the odds of items being sold during sale events and access a higher markup interaction. Oh, I think I'm out of food. <laughs> I need to make something. Oh, I have the thing. I never collected it. Oh, sorry. That's my bad. I got so distracted by the ambrosia that I, I never grabbed the food out of the oven. Well, this is worth 264. Booth bosses can set higher markups. 500%? Oh my god. <laughs> it's worth 396 simoleons. I'm having so much fun right now. We have all the money in the world. We don't need to worry about anything. And it took like barely any work. I didn't even do anything really. Oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. I really thought I was gonna work on the other aspiration. I never did. But you know what? That's okay because I did everything I could have possibly dreamed of today. This went extremely well. I would argue this is one of the best rags to riches I've ever done. Specifically because of the ambrosia, but even without it, we could make like five, six grand in a day. As long as you've got a high cooking skill, this is easy. And it's really fun having Sims come to your lot and like seeing people. I didn't even have to encourage the ghost to come here. He came here on his own. That's a ghost from university. He's like one of the default townies. I don't know. This has been really fun for me. <laughs> I, full transparency, have not recorded my review of this pack yet. I wanted to finish this and then record it. And I currently have a, a sort of glowing review. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I've had a lot of fun. But like I said, I did post a full review video yesterday when you're seeing this. So if you want to go back and watch that, I'll have it linked down below. If you enjoy these sort of videos with Stanley, I have made many of them over the years. So I'll put one of those on the end card as well for you. Thank you for watching. I am so curious to hear your thoughts about this pack. Are you enjoying this? Are you planning on buying it? Are you excited that stuff packs are back? I'd love to know. Let me know down below and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. I cannot believe he made 80,000 simoleons from one piece of ambrosia. I know it's expensive and it's like the way to go because it's the most expensive food in the game, but oh my God.